Hey girl, so I was so bored with my hair. I usually just dye it jet black, but I said, you know what, let me do a little highlight, like a little peekaboo somewhere. I decided to add it to the very back of my head and I do not regret it. I think this was the perfect subtle change that I needed. Here's everything you need for the process. Have two plastic caps, your quick blue powder, your 30 volume developer, 20 volume developer, two pieces of foil, I just got those out of my kitchen cabinet, and then you're gonna need some black gloves or just any gloves that will protect your hands from the color and the bleach. And then make sure you have two mixing bowls and two brushes. Well, you can just use one bowl and one brush and then rinse it and clean it out. For the bleaching process, I pour half of that pack of powder into this bowl. And then I basically eye my developer. Um, I pour it until it basically covers the entire top of the bleaching powder. And this is just how I've always done it. It's worked perfect for me because you wanna get a specific consistency. You don't want it too thin and you don't want it to be too thick. And you also don't want any like little pebbly balls in there. You wanna make sure it's all mixed really well. So this is what my consistency looks like. I went ahead and sectioned out the bottom part of my head. That's what I'm gonna be bleaching. Unfortunately, my camera cut off, but I wanted to show y'all where I put the bleach. Basically, I did not put any on the roots because I didn't wanna take it up that high. Take a big glob of that bleach in your hand and just go down the hair, and that's basically it. Make sure it's saturated. Now we're going in with the black hair dye. I got the shade Black Onyx, and it's also by L'Oreal. I also have my black mixing bowl and I have my little mixing brush. I'm gonna show you guys how I apply this. I'm gonna cut the end off and just squeeze two tubes into the little black bowl. And then I'm gonna go in with my developer. I'm using the 20 volume developer for this process. For this process, you wanna make sure you have more developer than hair color in the bowl, if that makes sense. So the developer, you wanna make sure you add 2.5 ounces of that per 1.75 ounces of hair dye. If you've never used this brand or product, you make sure you read the directions first because you don't wanna mess up this whole process. Um, so to apply the product, I am using my brush of course, but I kinda go in like you would if you were getting a relaxer. I think this is how they still do relaxers. I'm not sure, I don't have a relaxer right now. Um, but I basically go around the perimeter and like the edges of my head first with the hair color and then I start working my way in towards the middle of my head. So I um, am making sure that I part each section pretty small and then you're gonna get a big blob of the hair dye. Start at the roots, that's what I like to do because I have a lot of gray and then I just work my way down the hair shaft and that's pretty much it. I do this process all over the head until I'm basically done. This plastic cap on, and the directions say to let it process for 20 to 30 minutes, but I just do 30 minutes because I want it to be colored. I do not want any gray peeking through. I let the bleach sit in my hair for 20 minutes, and I could kind of tell that it was the color I desired. I lifted enough of the black off of my hair, so this was perfect for me. This is what it looks like before I go and rinse it out. But my hair was previously dyed jet black, so everything at the end didn't get as bright as whatever is nearest the root because the root takes color better and it bleaches a lot easier since it's new growth. Now we're going in with a deep moisturizing mask and I'm gonna saturate my hair in this and then I'm gonna comb it through and we're gonna let that sit for about another 20 minutes. Bleaching and just processing your hair can be so harsh on the head. So I wanted to make sure I still have some curls in here. Um, and it looks like they're kind of popping through. My hair is heat trained, so I wasn't sure what to expect because the last time I bleached my hair was years ago. This is what it's looking like. I went ahead and rinsed everything out. And as I stated before, like the roots do take better to bleaching um, because the heat from your head and the new growth, of course. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and just add this hair mask all over the head again. I was just gonna put it on the black section, but I was like, I might as well just do my whole head one more time. And I let this sit for another 30 minutes. I comb everything out. 
and make sure you put your bag on top of your hair once you um, put your mask on and then add like some heat from your blow dryer. Officially done with the coloring process, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this Tresemme heat protectant and spray it all over my head. Make sure you don't put too much of this in your hair. I also had a little visitor, baby girl woke up and wanted to come say hi, so I gave her some love and got back to the hair. It looks a little bit dark right now, but once I blow dry my hair, this color in the back is gonna be a lot more vibrant. I'm not gonna do my whole blow drying process on camera because I know I've done it a million times and y'all probably don't wanna see all that again. But um, yeah, I blow dry it, I went to sleep, woke up the next morning, thought I had a successful wrap, but no, my wrap fell all the way to the end of my bonnet, so it wasn't successful. <laughs> I'm just going to brush the hair out and we're going to prepare it for curling. This is what the color is looking like so it's a lot more vibrant than before. I believe in heat protectant so we're going back in with the keratin smooth heat protectant. And I'm not spraying a whole lot on my hair but I'm also going to use my Chi Silk Infusion Serum. That's like a heat protectant and it also gets your hair really silky. I'm gonna put that all throughout each section as well. And then we're gonna start using these rollers. So I'm using these foam rollers. Those are three different sizes. And I'm also using my flat iron for this process. I usually use my gold curling iron, but I wanted to see if the curls would come out a little bit better this time with the flat iron. And they come out all right. Y'all will see at the end. I'm curling my hair going outwards because I just want like a bunch of random curls in my hair. I'm trying something new. So the whole bottom half of my head is gonna be flipped outwards and then I'm using these green rollers just in the back portion of the hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this process. Um, basically, I'm just curling my hair outwards near the bottom half and then once I get to the top section of my hair I'll start curling it away from my face and I'll move on from the pink rollers to the purple rollers and y'all will see that in the next few clips. If you've never tried foam rollers you should definitely do so. It's like a really good easy way to get your curls to set and if you learn how to take them out correctly you won't have to experience a whole lot of frizz but i highly recommend them especially if you're someone who loves like a lot of body in your hair these work so good All right, let's start taking down this hair. I'm gonna start in the back. It is set for way too long. Look at those curls though, they're still popping. Okay, that one's a little bit, eh. I love this color. Um, that I bleached my hair. It's, I, I don't know why you can't really see it on camera, but in person it's so pretty. Ooh, it's already got so much body and volume. <clears throat> Ooh, okay, so we're going to flip it out. We're gonna use our even 24 hour hold edge control. I 
this goes really great with the jet black hair. Alright, so that's going to be it for the video guys. I had so much fun doing my hair. I feel like I needed a little change and I'm so glad like it came out this way. It was super simple to do. It was really quick and easy. So yeah, let me know if you guys decide to try this out and that's going to be it. I'll see y'all in my next video. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye!